Hey guys, this is Dr. Kelsey, and this is cute little Ellie Mae. She is a cute little basset puppy that just came in to see us, and um, her parents did her homework. We are talking about five mistakes to avoid that people make when they select for a new puppy. All right, five mistakes. Here's tip number one. Don't choose a breed based on the looks of the puppy. All right, the, you know, she's cute as can be, um, and they are, you know, puppies are all cute, but you gotta remember that's only gonna last for six months, a year, and then they're gonna be adults. So base your selection of a breed on the future, their adulthood, and what they're gonna look like. Tip number two is don't get a puppy too young. Um, she, Ellie Mae, was, uh, I think she's right at nine weeks old. You wanna get a puppy from a breeder around nine or 10 weeks old. Um, not any time earlier than six weeks. Like these four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, that's just too early. The dogs, the puppies need time with their mom, with their litter mates, that really helps in socialization. So six weeks would be the earliest, and honestly, I would recommend at eight, nine weeks old to get a puppy. All right. And avoid impulse buys, okay? You, you know, find a friend that has a puppy and they're so cute and you go get another one. You, um, you just don't have patience. You've got to have patience when you're selecting a breed and selecting a breeder. So don't, just avoid impulse buys. And it happens because they tug at our hearts. We, we see one and we want it right then. Or you go to the, the, the shelter and you immediately pick one out. Just do your homework, okay? Tip number four to avoid mistakes that people commonly make. Okay, this might seem f funny, but breeders, good breeders, do not meet you in the Walmart parking lot. All right, they just don't. They want you to come to their facility, they want you to come to their house, they want you to see their puppies, they want you to see the mom and dad. That's what a good breeder is gonna do. So avoid the Walmart purchase, okay? And And tip number five, and this was a big one, you've, you've got to do your research. You've got to do your homework. Again, you're researching about the breeder. You're researching really particularly, especially about the breed. What's the future? What is an adult basset gonna be like? What are the illnesses or diseases or issues that a, you know that a older basset might um, get used to? I had a client not too long ago that bought a bigger, like a Great Dane, and they didn't know that they could get hip problems and knee problems. They obviously didn't do their homework. So you've got to do your homework. Do your research. So those are five tips uh, that are five common mistakes that people make in selecting a puppy and avoid them. Hey guys, this is Dr. Kelsey, and this is little Tiffany, a nine-year-old chihuahua, hanging out with us today. Hey, uh, we want you to, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are a Kelsey canine. We are dogs only. And uh, that's what our videos talk about, is just dogs. We have a lot of fun facts. We talk about certain breeds. Uh, we're talk we've talked about chihuahuas before. We talked a lot about a dip, you know, labs and all sorts of stuff, labradoodles and golden doodles. But we, we bring to you also a lot of information about certain diseases, heart disease, kidney disease. We talk about nutrition. Uh, there's just so many topics in the veterinary field. We want you guys to be informed to make better decisions for your, the, the health care of your dogs. Uh, so, please again, subscribe to us. Uh, we would appreciate it. We'll, we continually shoot and update videos just about every week. So we appreciate it. Thanks.